You know, 50, 55 years ago, I thought my immune system was, you know, glands, nodules, top of my legs, under my arms, up here. But I realize the immune system's really everywhere. So today we're gonna hone in on the what, where, why of the immune system. What is it really? And in honor of my longest advertising client, uh, Beta Glucan, I asked Frank and his son Mark to be here and a very prominent immunologist, microbiologist, a professor of those at the University of Nevada School of Medicine, Dr. Ken Hunter. And we're gonna figure out the immune system because folks, the one supplement I take that I know helps my immune system, and I take it every day and have for four years now, is beta-glucan. So welcome to your immune system, the what, where, and why. This show is brought to you by the NSC Company. When you can't, beta glue can. For the past 45 years, I have dedicated my life and my whole career to finding the root cause of disease. And I now know with certainty that we must play a role in our own health care. I'm a self-care advocate, and you know what? Every time you change your diet for the better, exercise, or swallow a nutritional supplement, so are you. Now welcome to Know the Cause. You know, for decades, I've studied the immune system, and along comes COVID, and all of a sudden, what do we know about the immune system, right? It all kind of fell apart. My two go-to guys in immunology are Dr. Ganum at Case Western, brilliant mycologist. He knows the immune system. If I have questions, I call him. The other is Frank Jordan. You know him as the NSC guy, right? Beta-glucan. Uh, Frank... Frank and I get in some deep immune system conversations, and we both have book knowledge. We have studied cumulatively between Frank and I probably 80 years. We have studied the immune system, okay? Let's just do immune system 101, my immune system, okay? It consists of billions of cells. They travel through the bloodstream thanks to my beating heart. When the heart stops beating, these stop traveling, and we call that death. Uh, their role in health is to protect me against disease-causing germs and disease cells, like cancer cells. Disease-causing bacteria, viruses, and fungi can enter my body and my immune system launches an attack against these offenders. It sounds so simple. I often wonder about the guy who studies immunology and doesn't know God. I mean, how the immune system was put together is mind-boggling. I will die never fully comprehending all of it, right? But where is it? Where is my... You know, we used to think it's lymph nodes, top of the legs, up here under arms, because the doctors would always feel that, okay, you're running a fever. Look at this. Where is my immune system? Well, they're my white blood cells. They're my lymph nodes, my spleen, where uh, my white blood cells are stored. Uh, they're my tonsils and adenoids, and what happens when we're five years old? Boom, pull those out. They're my thymus, where some white blood cells mature. They're in my bone marrow, where stem cells originate, and red blood cells, plasma cells, and white blood cells develop. How important is bone marrow? Billions of new cells are made each day in the bone marrow. They're my skin and my mucous membranes. They're my stomach and my bowels. It's fascinating as you take on this subject. And what I knew 50 years ago about the immune system, well, I'm exposed to the flu. If I get the flu, that's good, we used to say, because now you have autoantibodies. They're called anti-flu antibodies, and that's a good thing. And then along comes in 2020 this strange new disease called COVID, uh, and it becomes uh, a little bit more apparent how little we know about the immune system, okay? <clears throat> My immune cells, so one of them, these are perfectly round, they're called T and B cell lymphocytes. The T cell lymphocytes assure that my cells, uh, assure that my cells that become affected are destroyed. It assures that my cells that become affected are destroyed, okay? They're the first line of defense. Then the B cell lymphocytes produce G, A, M, E, and D antibodies against invading germs. These antibodies can recognize and remember these germs, so my protection against reoffending germs is long-term. Guys, we call this immunorecognition and immunomemory. God put it there. Not a shot from a doctor. God put it there. That's the way our immune system is supposed to work. 
Then I have phagocytes, they're called, they're neutrophils or polymorphonucleated leukocytes. The process of phagocytosis takes place within these phagocytes, these white blood cells, where they engulf germs, and thanks to powerful digestive enzymes inside them, they render the germs harmless to my immune system. Keep in mind that when we're dealing with some common fungal infections, and I'm going to quote a medical textbook, sometimes phagocytosis fails. Oh, not with bacterial, not with viral infections, but common fungi uh, can trick the immune system. And phagocytosis, the white blood cells gobbling up the fungus, fails. And it begins, uh, coincidentally, protecting the fungus in the cell instead of the immune system of the person with the disease. My immune system, AG is antigen, AB is antibody. An antigen is anything capable of eliciting an immune response. These can be disease-causing germs, cancer cells, cat dander, or wheat. Antibody is an immune reaction created by a type of white blood cell we call a B cell, rendering antigens harmless. An immune complex forms when antigens and antibodies combine. These are then filtered out by a system we have, a filtering system, the reticuloendothelial system. Now, how do I assist my immune system on a regular basis? I get a lot of sleep. I don't worry, be happy, curb your stress. I eat right. Be careful with regularly eating canned and packaged foods. Uh, whole foods is the best. I take supplements that enhance my immunity. We talk about this all the time. I exercise regularly, and I thank my maker daily. Okay? That's a good pattern to follow for each and every one of you. Take good care of your immune system, and it will take good care of you. This is a very special segment on Know the Cause because thanks to technology, we are going to talk to Dr. Ken Hunter. For almost a quarter of a century, Dr. Hunter has worked with the NSC company, Frank, and his son, Mark, the president of, uh, of this company. Uh, Dr. Hunter, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you being there. My pleasure. You know, it's fascinating. Almost a quarter of a century ago, you and Frank sat down and said, yeah, I'm fascinated. He already knew about beta-glucan, right? This was new to us, but he already knew about it. And you began researching. What have the years taught you, Dr. Hunter, with regard to beta-glucan? Well, it, it does go back um, quite a long way, actually, uh, in, in my laboratory, but even further back in terms of uh, folks uh, wondering whether uh, beta-glucan uh, had some immunological properties. We we found in our laboratory that uh, it's one of the most immunologically active uh, natural products uh, that, that you could ever find. And our early work was essentially uh, uh, predicated on the notion that uh, we didn't know enough about how beta-glucan actually stimulated the immune system. And we did a series of basic science research papers uh, seeing how, uh, how it affected inflammation how it uh, triggered not just the early innate uh, immune response, but also uh, the adaptive immune response uh, with antibody production and so forth. And we have a series of publications over the years uh, that deal with that. But you, you, you sort of ask the question of what, what has happened in the intervening time. Mm. Uh, well, uh, literally thousands of papers have been published from laboratories all across the world that uh, that that actually verify what we saw those many years ago, that it is a very immunologically active molecule. Do people take it to, I've been on it for so many years, to defend our immune systems? All I know is I haven't been sick. You know, I mean, this is good. I can't feel it. It isn't like other supplements that my brain opens up. All I know is I don't get sick. Do you hear that a lot or do you see that in the laboratory? Well, yes, that's, that is absolutely uh, the, the major feature of uh, beta-glucan. But to understand uh, glucan, you have to understand well, why our immune uh, system would actually recognize uh, beta-glucan. Um, as, as you know very well, because you've, uh, you've done uh, research yourself on, uh, on fungal diseases, uh, they are exceptionally prominent. And over evolutionary time, the human immune response evolved to recognize fungal pathogens. 
Uh, like, for instance, the very terrible pathogen Candida albicans, which is a yeast. Mm -hmm. The cell wall of that yeast is made up of beta-glucan. And so your immune system evolved to recognize that beta-glucan. That makes perfectly good sense, a highly conserved molecular structure so that the immune system can see not only Candida albicans, but Aspergillus and Pneumocystis and any of the other uh, fungi that, that, that have that molecule. Beta-glucan isn't made with a pathogenic fungi. It's actually made with Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Uh, it's a particulate form of that very safe yeast, which when given orally, quickly passes through the stomach to the small intestine and actually uh, binds to very specific molecules on the lining of the small intestine and quickly crosses into the body right there. Now, you may not recognize that site in the body as important immunologically, but that's what we immunologists call the mucosal immune system. And it is 75% of your immune system. So very rapidly after, uh, Doug, you have taken your glucan, that glucan has crossed over and is, is in this area we call the mucosa. There we find a variety of immune cells, uh, many of which also have the ability to uh, recognize glucan, and the glucan then triggers changes in those cells. Um, actually, you, you ask what is really uh, new. The concept of trained immunity is really new. Um, if, you, if you Google that, you'll find that there's a lot of research on this concept that when a molecule or a, a particulate material like glucan interacts with well, my favorite immune cell is the <laughs> macrophage, yeah, and I'm yeah. sure you recall the discussions earlier about that, it actually triggers that macrophage to, uh, to engage in innate immunity. But more so, after that innate immunity is, is, uh, has been induced and then down-regulated and calmed down, homeostasis, mm -hmm. That macrophage has now been trained. It's, it's now more capable of interacting with the, uh, the world of, of, of pathogens, not just fungi, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but, but also viruses and bacteria and, and, and parasites. Where, where so was you're, this? You're taking beta-glucan, you're actually getting that, that evolutionary benefit of um, recognition of pathogenic fungi induced by a very safe uh, non-pathogenic yeast. Generally recognized as safe. Where was this, Dr. Hunter, when you got involved, you know, 25, 30 years ago? Did you ever foresee such a simple uh, supplement, natural supplement, as being so pivotal in good health and good immune health? Well, it was, it was uh, a bit, uh, um, it, in the laboratory, we, we always knew the, uh, that it had a very strong immunological activity. Um, the fact that you could take it orally, and we have many studies in, in animals that verify uh, what we know is going on in humans as well. Yeah, we were pretty surprised uh, at, what's, at, uh, at, at the benefits that one might see. But in the, in the more recent time, in addition to trained immunity, which is a, a uh, very interesting immunological phenomenon, there have been a wide number, uh, Doug, of, um, of clinical trials with glucan. And I'll just give you one, one example of many things. Uh, upper respiratory tract uh, illnesses like uh, colds and flu. Mm -hmm. uh, there are clinical trials now that show that oral glucan can reduce the incidence in many cases and most definitely the severity of those infections. And so you ask why it is you're not getting uh, as many uh, of those um, uh, viral infections in the course of a, of a winter uh, cold and flu season if you're taking beta-glucan. And the answer is beta-glucan can actually um, uh, create a, a state of immunity against those particular uh, viruses. Okay, now when we get back, and you know this, Dr. Hunter, your good friends Mark and uh, Frank are here in our studio. We'll have them communicate a little bit with you. You know, thank God, Dr. Hunter, for a guy like you who has done the research, offered it to these folks. They have a product, the likes of which I've got to tell you, after 50 years in the field of nutrition, research, and clinical, I haven't seen anything like this. It's really dynamic, so don't go away. Uh, Dr. Ken Hunter and Frank Jordan and his son Mark, the president of the NSC company, will be right back with more.
Oh, friends, welcome back. Thank you so much. I, I can't get enough of Dr. Hunter expounding on this. Thank you, Dr. Hunter, for bringing it on our level. Without the big words, you're training students there at the medical school. Uh, this was a good segment. Frank is sitting here and Mark is sitting here with me. This was the beta-glucan what, why, where, when. Frank, why beta-glucan? Well, why is because your body doesn't make beta-glucan but it does make and inherit pathogens that enter through you know, all these different avenues. Sure. And so you need glucan. First of all, uh, a lot of people say it stimulates the immune response. Well, it does, but what you want it to do is to potentiate the immune response and then to also downregulate when it's needed. I mean, we all know hyper, we've heard of cytokine storms and this kind of stuff right. recently. Right. It needs to be downregulated, and that relates to inflammation, which Dr. Hunter can expound on more. Uh, but it's very, very important then to maintain your immune system. You can't, you start with birth, and uh, approximately one fifth of your entire body is your immune response. And consequently, but you've got to do something about that. Now, lifestyle is huge. How you eat, eat healthily, get moderate exercise. Uh, I, lo I always love this one, uh, minimize stress. Yeah, how do you minimize <laughs> stress in this day and time? Not sure. Uh, but all of these things, adequate sleep, uh, wash your hands. We've heard that over and over and over. Uh, all those things help your body help you with your immune response. But then do you really eat five helpings of green vegetables a day? Not many people do. So you need to supplement, and that's where we come in. Mm -hmm that we are a safe GRAS supplement taken orally. That is what's called a particulate, uh, which means there's certain receptors in your body that will really only take particularly. They don't like soluble that much, but we are necessary daily. So maintain your immune response, take it daily. I like it with a good multiple vitamin like NSC Gold. Yep. And uh, if, you'll, if you'll take it daily, it'll help take care of you. Do uh, Dr. Hunter, uh, you and Mark have a great background because Mark has really developed technology in their laboratory based on your word. And the early word, Dr. Hunter, was, uh-oh, these catcher's mitts don't open wide enough to catch the beta-glucan, right? You need to make them tiny so you micronized it. Mark, you took off on that, didn't you? And you helped develop dare I say, shaving material, you know, so you could make the particulate smaller. But you two have worked together for a lot of years, you and Dr. Hunter. Well, look, I'm so excited this morning to be able to have Ken on uh, Zoom because it's always an education, whether if it's a phone conversation or in person and today sure. on the show. So it's really exciting to be able to get the news from the, ma the news maker. And yeah. so the opportunities that we've had with Ken over the years have, have been profound, not only in understanding of what beta-glucan is, how it interacts with our immune cells, where it's important, what things we had to emphasize on particle size. Mm -hmm. That comes in the particle and the receptor, just like you said. But also when we, we found these, these uh, roadblocks in the way, Ken has been the door opener that has made the opportunities exist. So really, to say I've, my work, it's been Ken's work and I've just been putting it together. Be because oatmeal, you know, the stuff that the glue that holds oatmeal together when you get it wet, beta-glucan, right? But far too large, although you do get some. Uh, the technology, Dr. Hunter, um, how is it going back to Frank and Mark and saying, okay, we can do this, but <laughs> you're going to need this and this and this. Is, uh, has be Frank been receptive to all of that, Frank and Mark? A absolutely so. I mean, one of the, one of the keys, of, of course, in, in the world of beta-glucan is to, is to manufacture a product that is uh, consistent, consistently active uh, every time. And uh, I don't know, uh, Doug, if you've had a chance to visit uh, their facility in, in, in Liberty, which, mm -hmm. which I uh, had the opportunity to help them uh, uh, design and do some biochemical engineering on. Um, that is an uh, FDA-approved <coughs> facility. The material is manufactured um, consistently with all the testing. And, and that's key because there, there are too many uh, uh, beta-glucans out there that aren't made with that kind of, of uh, attention to, uh, to detail. And, and j just for our own research, being able to have a consistently produced uh, a product that, uh, that uh, provides its immunological activity time after time is critical. 
Okay, you guys, in the minute we have left, um, Dr. Hunter, take a moment and tell us who should take beta-glucan. Immunocompromised, immunocompetent, those who have had serious diseases, those who hope not to? All of the above. Mm. It, is a, it, is, it is a perfectly good supplement for people who are uh, healthy and, and happy and want to stay that way. Uh, <clears throat> Beta-glucan can modify the immune system in such a way that if there's some uh, immune compromise, it can have a, a beneficial effect. Hmm. Uh, but in a perfectly normal immune system, as I indicated earlier, with the concept of trained immunity, taking glucan keeps that immune system ready to deal with pathogens when they come your way. I love it. And Frank will always tell you folks when you can't, as Dr. Hunter said, beta glucan. Honored to have the three of you who work so synergistically together on the set at the same time. Thank you, Dr. Hunter. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dr. You bet. So what'd you think? Amazing, right? I mean, when Dr. Hunter, I've met him in the past, when he's here, it kind of boggles my mind that a full professor in a medical school that teaches young, impressionable, very intelligent boys and girls, we call them pre-doctors, would know fungus and would know germs and would know, most importantly, beta-glucan, folks. I took it for many, many years, and then I, my head got big, and I went on several lecture tours where I spoke to doctors, and I didn't think I needed the protection of beta-glucan 2017, four years ago. And so I stopped for a month. I just didn't reorder. And man, did I land uncomfortably. I got sick, got the flu, went to the doctor, went on an antibiotic for a few days. I paid the price, folks. By the way, here's the product that they're talking about. The one on the left is the one I take every day, the NSC 110 milligram. The one on the right is a maintenance dose. It's a three milligram. I just love the 10 milligram and I'm not veering from it. By the way, if you folks want to try beta-glucan, here it is, just call and try some free. The phone number has been up. Just call and try some beta-glucan for 10 days. It's not a product you feel, but when you feel like I do at my age for the past four or five years on it every day, it pays dividends. God bless you folks. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.